Namaste everyone, my name is Wendy and in today's video I will talk about Shirshasana, the king of all asanas or commonly known as the headstand. Shirshasana is inverted posture and it has so many benefits for you. For example, it increases your energy, building your confidence as well as straightening your body and it helps you with digestion and decreasing your anxiety and stress level. Before I get started on how to do headstand, I just want to say that I don't recommend this pose to anyone who's got high blood pressure or any heart problems or if you have issue with your neck, back or shoulders or also if you had recently operation. If you are pregnant, please consult this with your a physician or a doctor if you can practice this pose. Just a tip for you, I would suggest to do headstand at the end of your flow or your practice because your body will be warm so you avoid any injuries. Also, if you don't have enough strength, I would suggest to do some down dog, dolphin, dolphin push-ups, chaturanga or planks just to strengthen the body and try to engage the core and all the muscles you will need for headstand. Start on your force in a tabletop position. Instead of your palms, place your elbows. Wrap your elbows to know that they are shoulder width apart. It should not be too wide or too close, as you will lose the balance. Interlace your finger into a basket and create like a tripod for your body. Place top of your head on the mat, not the forearm and not the back, right into the basket. From here, inhale, lift your shoulders to have a long neck, tuck your toes under and lift your knees and hips up. Start crawling your feet towards your face as close as you can. Core engage, keep breathing. Tuck one leg to your chest, take tiny little hops and squeeze your core, tuck both legs. Send the hips over your head, do not jump to this position or you will lose the balance. Hips are stuck over your shoulders. Keep your knees and ankles together. Start to lift one foot to the sky. Yes, squeeze the belly, squeeze the glutes and legs. Shoulders away from your ears and lift the second leg up to the sky. Point your toes. Breathe in here. To come down, slowly tuck your legs to the chest and slowly lower both legs to the floor. After any inverted position, relax in a child pose until your breath and heartbeat will be in a normal pace. And now we know how to do headstand. If you are a beginner, I would suggest to use a wall or a blanket under your head just to remove some tension. Knuckles are against the wall. It's the same procedure as normal headstand. Tuck your leg to your chest. And the other one, try to place your feet on the wall and then slowly one feet up, then the second feet and then to come down, take both feet down the wall, back your knees into the chest, slowly go down, relax in a child's pose. So now you know how to do headstand. Your next question might be, what if I fall? Well, it's totally normal. Everyone has the same fear of falling. So there are two ways how to fall out of the headstand. First one is tuck your chin to your chest and then roll forward. That's the most easiest and safest way how to do it. The second one is to come down to the wheel pose or the bridge pose. I wouldn't suggest this as it's quite advanced, so now you know how to do headstand. Once you master it, you can always play with it. You can change the leg shapes into the diamond, L shape, split, tree or any, any different variation. It's totally up to you. So play with it and enjoy. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful and if you have any comments, just let me know and try to answer it. Thank you. Namaste.